relocation test. I'm going to abduct the patient's shoulder to 90. From here, I'm gonna slowly go into external rotation. You wanna to go to the point where the patient feels some apprehension. From here, I'm gonna take my opposite side hand, impart a posterior glide on the humeral head, and ask the patient, does this reduce the feelings of instability in your shoulder? To go along with the video today, I have a little gift for you. It's an evidence-based cheat sheet for shoulder instability. It's a four-page PDF that goes over everything you need to know about shoulder instability. We go over prevalence, anatomy, joint arthrokinematics, risk factors, and different types of instability, causes of instability, whether or not your patient should undergo surgery or have conservative care like physical therapy, and finally, rehab implications for all the different types of instability. So if you're looking to get up to speed about shoulder instability in less than 10 minutes, then this PDF is for you. I'll leave a link in the show notes in the description. Go ahead and click on that and then download it and then get back to what you're learning about right now.